All right, so today we're going to make a video on this X22i incline trainer. It says something about reflex cushion technology, which I really like walking on here. Eventually I'll run on here, but at my age, I like the fact that the bed actually gives and it moves, so it's cushioned. It's a much easier uh, on your joints, less impact. All right, today, what are we doing? Today we're going to set this this incline trainer, this X22i incline trainer, set it so that you can access privileged mode, which will allow you to do certain things on this um, on this treadmill that you normally can't. Like right now, all you can do is watch, uh, you know, go to one of these videos. But this is an annual subscription, and once that uh, finishes, and if you don't want to have another one, I believe there's so many here that you can access. There'll be like maybe 40 to 50 of them supposedly, but after a while, those will get boring. You can also go to manual start and do that. But again, you have this huge 22 inch screen or maybe you have the 32 inch screen. So you wanna be able to access all the, how do I say properties or you wanna access all of the capabilities of this machine. Cause this is an awesome Nordic track machine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this so that you can access privileged mode. And how do you do that? And um, if you uh, watched my videos, you know that you do that by uh, you tapping anywhere on here that doesn't activate something. So don't tap there because that'll start the video or don't tap there. But you can tap there, there, any blank space that you can find. So we'll, we'll do right here. Actually, we've done this before. We're going to do it here so that you can see what it says there. So what you do is you're going to tap 10 times. You're going to wait 7 to 8 or 9 seconds, maybe even 10 seconds. And then you're going to tap 10 times again. Okay? And that will actually allow you to access the privilege mode or the administrative mode. All right, here we go. We're going to tap 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if I did it right, boom. Privilege mode to true. How do you know if you're able to access privilege mode? You swipe up and you see these three shapes. You can also swipe down and you'll see the same three shapes. And what are the three shapes? The triangle is to go back, the circle is to access the desktop, and the square is to show all the windows that are running. So I always access the circle. Circle gives you to the desktop. And my desktop has a black hole that's actually moving if you look. Pretty cool. But you'll normally have yours default to something else. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you something. If you hold this down, you actually see wallpaper and widgets. I'm gonna go and show you the wallpaper that you're going to have. This is the wallpaper that you're having, all right? So we'll set this as wallpaper. <clears throat> so when you log on, this is what you'll see when you access privileged mode and then you go to the circle. You'll have this. You won't have anything on the desktop. That's just me. So we'll leave it like that so that you can see. But anyway, I'm gonna put it back to the way it was. Wallpaper, and I like the black hole. We've got all different kinds here. We'll go black hole. And there we go, black hole. I like that one. Set wallpaper. Cool. It's a little different. I guess it's because it's moving wallpaper, as you can see. Awesome. All right. So what are we doing today? <clears throat> I've had people ask me about YouTube. I've had people ask me about Netflix, about Hulu, about Amazon Prime, all these different things. Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news for you. So to install Netflix, I have another video that you'll have, to, and I'll set a... What I'll do is, you can just uh, search, but I'll see if I can have a link in the description below so that you can see how to go to that video on how to do Netflix, all right? Also, as far as um, YouTube, I have a video on accessing YouTube as well. The, the bad news is that none of the YouTube apps work, so you have to create a shortcut. You could either do it on your desktop, or you can just have it right here, and then... Um, well, actually, you can't have it here. You'll have to go into the browser and create a uh, bookmark. So what I've done is I've created a shortcut on my desktop, which allows you to go to YouTube, which is pretty cool. You click on that, 
and it'll automatically take you to YouTube. It'll even access all of your personalized content if you're logged in up there. All right, so let's close this out. But why are we here today? Because of two apps that people have been asking me about. One is Hulu and one is Amazon Prime. So I'm going to show you uh, how to install both of them. Unfortunately, you won't be following the instructions for one of them because it doesn't work and I'm going to show you what happens when you try. So the first one we're going to do is try to install Hulu. If you've followed any of my videos before, you know that we can't access the Google Play Store in this environment. At least I can't. I've got the older X22i. If you have an X32i or the newer X22i, you can try, but I don't think it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, come here, go to my web browser, and go to something called an APK store. And the one I normally go, I actually have it up here, is APK Mira. That's the first one I try. APK Mira. I trust that one. All right, and then I'll do a search. And I'm going to search for Hulu. And then do a search. And it should find me multiple. So I can tell you right now, I've tried multiple ones of these, but and they haven't worked. But the main thing to do whenever you search for anything, I can hit information, I can hit go. It gives you a little bit of information. I can hit download, but I always hit it and then it takes me to the page with some information on Hulu. It gives me the version. It tells me, there's the version. It tells me when it was created, March 31st, just recently. And it tells me what the minimum version for Android. So if you have the older X22i like myself, it's running an Android 5.1.1. How do I know that? It's because I've searched the firmware earlier on. Uh, so we're so you're running an Android 5.0 plus, which means this will work. So I'll actually click on it. It should bring me to the page where I can download. And then if I scroll down right there, it says download APK. So we'll do that. Okay. So it says that it's downloading. Your download is starting. All right. So let's search while that's waiting. Let's go back a couple of times. And now we're going to search for Amazon Prime. Because that's another app that you guys have been asking for. Come here. APK Mirror is the one that I really like the, the best. And we're going to search for... Amazon Prime. I think it's Amazon Prime Videos. Yep, it's Amazon Prime Videos. And we're going to hit search. And let's see what happens. And unfortunately, it doesn't find anything for Amazon Prime Videos, which I'm shocked. But that's fine. So if you can't find something on APK Mirror, then... Go back a few times until you get back to Google and search for APK Space Pure. And there it is, APK Pure. So APK Pure is another site. I'm sure there's several. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't worry, I don't have the coronavirus. You don't have to wipe your screen. So APK Pure and APK Mirror are the two that I use. And on here, I'll do a search, and I'm looking for Amazon, it already shows up, Amazon Prime Video. And this one actually shows. So I'll click on the first one usually. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it shows me the version, and somewhere here it will show me if it's good for Android. And right there it says Android 5, so I know that I can download it. All right, and right there, download APK. So I'll click that. And it's starting to download. So once that's done, you can actually close this out and go to downloads. And in downloads, it'll show you right there, Hulu is downloaded and Prime is downloaded. If it's not finished, it'll show you the percentage. So we'll start with Hulu. And this is uh, what you'll get normally. 
Say, do you want to install? Similar to if you had a fire TV and you were installing something, <clears throat> or if you had a phone, you were installing something. Just click on the install button. Give it a few seconds. Uh, this doesn't take longer than anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds to install. <clears throat> They're pretty quick. <coughs> Again, I'm not sick. It's, it's, I've been talking too much. Hit done. Cool. And let's go ahead while we're here. Let's install the Amazon Prime video as well. well hit, and you're going to read through this, but it's just a typical stuff. that, uh, And it's thinking that it, you're on a phone. Because it's, it's thinking it's on an Android. Hit install. Give it 15 to 30 seconds. Actually, I'll pause and come right back. All right, that took a while. That took almost a minute. And right, so that's done. Prime video, hit done. All right, so now those are done. I just swipe up and I'm here. And if you notice, I've got a Hulu and I've got a Prime video. Eventually, I'll put them on my desktop. Actually, I'll show you how to put them on the desktop. You hold them and then just put them on your desktop. And I'll do that the same with Prime Video. Hold it and put it on my desktop. All right, so first we'll try Hulu. And this is the bad news, unfortunately. I've tried installing multiple versions of Hulu. I've tried accessing Hulu from the web browser. And unfortunately, I keep getting errors. Now, that being said, watch it work now. It looks like everything works, right? I log in. Okay, give me a second while I log in. I'll be right back. All right, I'm logged in. And let's see. We'll come here, unwatch stuff. Quiet place. Ah, let's go to uh, Adventure Time. And here we are, Adventure Time. I could start watching episode one, season one. And unfortunately, this is the error that I get when I try running. You'll get an error playing this video, and then you'll see the unique error ID and the error code, which is a three with a negative 996. I've looked that up, and unfortunately, there's no fix for this. I hit OK, and I think the reason it is is because this is an older version, I believe, of Chrome, and it doesn't really have all of the, the bells and whistles that you need to run Hulu. So go back. Actually, so I'm just going to hit my desktop. So if that ever happens and you can't uh, install something, let's say you don't have it on your desktop. Here it is right here. You just hold it and you drag it to where it says uninstall. It turns red and it asks you, do you want to uninstall this app? I say, okay, <clears throat> and it's gone. What I, know also, what I also do is I come back here to downloads because this has limited space. And so I come here to where it says Hulu. I hold it. There it is. And see the garbage can? I'll hit the garbage can. <clears throat> okay? Oh, I, didn't, I, I accidentally hit share. So let's try that again. Hold Hulu down and then get to the garbage can, which is up there. And it's gone. It looks like I downloaded... Oh, that's right. I downloaded Amazon twice. Actually, I've downloaded it three times for, for the purposes of this video. So let me delete these two. I still... I always keep at least one install. All right. <clears throat> so now that we've gotten rid of that, let's try the Prime Video. And if you recall, I have it on my desktop. We'll move it. We'll look... If you hold it, it moves. We'll go right over there. Oh, that would have been cool if it goes right over the uh, there, but it doesn't. So we'll just put the Prime Video next to the Netflix. We'll hit Prime Video. Now, the good news, Prime Video works. So at least one of them works. And again, I've tried Hulu uh, using a web browser. It doesn't work. But again, the great news is that Amazon Prime works. <clears throat> so let me pause while I log in. So uh, you might get this the first time. There's a two-step verification. You'll get a... Um, so I just always click here, don't require. But unfortunately, it sends a code to your phone. So one second while I get the code. All right, here we go. <clears throat> and Amazon Prime popping up. And just like the other one, it looks like it works, right? So 
a whole bunch of new series. This Tales from the Loop looks pretty cool. Looks like a sci-fi series, and I love sci-fi. So let's see if this works. So I'm trying to play episode one from season one, and the good news is that it does work. And it's got some really cool, a, a cool interface. Like if you come up here, uh, you can zoom, you can watch, exit play, watch from the beginning. Uh, subtitles, you can hit English. I love subtitles. Close. <clears throat> and we can watch this, but anyway, I don't want to watch too much. But anyway. So as you can see, Prime Video does work. So one out of two isn't bad. So look, I've got Netflix, I've got Prime Video, I've got YouTube, I've got the ID channel, which my wife loves. I got a couple other apps. And then remember, the good old reliable. <clears throat> if you've been away from the iFit app, it's called iFit Cardio. When you click on it, it doesn't come up right away. It kind of resets. And it's just a little, a little bug. It's not really even a bug. It's just that you're asking the X22i to multi-process. And I guess it's not really meant... And actually, I think the X22i can do it. I think it's the iFit app software that's not the greatest. Hopefully, one day, they'll make it so you could um, multi-process. But anyway, as you can see, it's coming up. And we're back to normal. And what I like doing is uh, showing you all how to take it out of privilege mode just in case you know, you've got a repairman coming or something. And it's just the same thing. You tap 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, and 7, 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's false. So once now, you see you can't swipe up or down. So it's back to normal. All right, guys. Hopefully that was um, something that you enjoyed. And if you like it, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And what I'll do is I'll keep trying to make content that, that you guys can learn from. All right. See you guys later. Stay safe from this uh, coronavirus stuff. And hopefully this will all pass with time. Um, just uh, hunker down. If you've got the X22i or the X32i or the X11i or whatever treadmill you have because you're watching this or because you want to buy one, hopefully this will give you some information so that you can utilize it better and utilize this, the full potential of this screen. You all have a good, good one and stay safe.